what do we have going on here? I'm seeing blue blue women, uh, televisions. I mean, it's a little difficult to explain. Everything big, everything big here. So what we're doing, we have a photographer that's taking pictures, 3D photos using the uh, Panas uh, sorry the uh, <laughs> the Fujifilm uh, 3D camera. Panasonic also has a 3D camera they released recently, so we're also using this sometimes. And this is a camera that has two lenses, two CCDs, and it takes stereoscopic images. Uh, this is a good model that is the, from the World of Warcraft uh, game. And people come over and they want to see well, how the picture looks in 3D, so we do that for them. We take the picture, there's a wireless card that we inserted in the camera, sends the picture to our 3D TV play, PC, 3D Vision, uh, and it's connected to a Panasonic 3D TV. The picture is being displayed on a 65-inch display, and people can put the glasses from that TV and see their images in 3D. And many people have seen it for the first time, and they're quite impressed. They, knew it. they didn't think it would be that good. You know, one of the challenges with 3D, I mean, I joke, like, with our company name, Meant to be Seen, we did it because it's actually difficult to appreciate until you see it. Now that you've implemented this technology and you're showing it to people, what's the response been like? It's actually quite impressive. Uh, people, are, they're like, wow. <laughs> And they're like, shit, maybe I need to get a 3D camera. Because it's like, oh, this is a gimmick. No, once, our feeling is that once people see how 3D photos or 3D videos look in, in, reality, in reality, their opinion changes. And that's why we're spending time to put it in, in front of the people so they can get a chance to experience it. And then they will make the decision or not to finally upgrade their PC to a 3D PC. Now, I told you I told you a little story earlier that it's growing harder and harder to impress people. Because I myself, it's not on me now, but I have a Fuji 3D camera. And they understand they have a new model now. So, yeah. uh, so tell me about the W3. Okay, so this is their second generation. Uh, it came out a couple of months ago. Um, similar concept, two lenses, uh, fairly aged, a fairly high resolution uh, megapixel. I think it's a 12 or 14 megapixel. Uh, what they have done in this case, they have improved the LCD. So the LCD, which is an auto stereoscopic LCD, uh, gives you an idea of how the picture looks like, and it's a big improvement compared to the previous generation. Uh, in addition to the better um, uh, LCD, they've made some improvement in terms of the functionality on the buttons. The camera is a little bit lighter which is good when you travel a lot, and they've added uh, 720p uh, HD video to it. A 720p HD video, how much time do you get out of the video? Oh boy, uh, I think I had an hour on an 8 gig, no, I forgot. I, I get um, at least 30 to 60 minutes on a good uh, memory card. Okay, excellent. So it records in, in stereoscopic 3D. Yep. Does it handle traditional 2D content as well? As well. You can uh, always always shoot, uh, switch to a 2D mode. And the camera, what I like to do often is that when I take uh, pictures, I take, it actually saves it in both 2D and 3D. Both of them at the same time. So if I have the chance to have a 3D vision PC, then I can experience it in 3D. If I want to give it to my grandma or some other people that don't have a 3D PC, then I can give them the 2D version of the image. Now, uh, it's great to have a 3D camera, but it also sucks if you're the only one who can appreciate it. Now, I understand that NVIDIA has a solution in mind for that. In fact, that's another reason to congratulate NVIDIA today. Um, maybe you could elaborate a bit on this. Well, we believe content drives uh, the acceptance of a new technology. Um, so, and there's been a lot of demand from our users to say, "Hey, I want to, I want to more, I want to see more content," and or I want a way to share my content with my friends that are not in the same location that I have. So, we've put together a website called 3D Vision Live, and uh, at the show at CES, we launched a new module inside of that website, which is a 3D photo modules. And this module allows users to upload their own images and uh, share them with the rest of the world. Or if you don't have images, you can see some very nice uh, images, that have, three stereoscopic images, that have been uploaded by some talented people around the world. And uh, the new thing about that site, because there has been some 3D photo sites in the past, the thing is that in the past, those websites were limited to the anaglyph uh, viewing modes. Well, we've our engineers found a way to do a 3D vision uh, plugin for the web browsers, and now it's possible to generate a website with 3D vision Im images that are uh, viewed at full resolution with 3D vision glasses. Oh, that's a big change. It used to be that it was difficult because of the 3D vision, because of the shuttering method, yes. that you really couldn't do it in a windowed yeah. form, nope. but I gather you, you managed to get over that. Yep, that's uh, the technological advancement of, from our team. They've managed to put it in a windowed mode and make a, pro a protocol of communications that allows the, the server to talk to the client PC and turn on the glasses. Excellent, excellent. So we'll, we'll actually we'll speak with you just a little bit more today, and uh, we've been joined by Patrick Bullio, Business Development Manager for NVIDIA's 3D Vision Department. We'll be back with more at CES 2011. <laughs>